Good morning, sleepyhead. Day three, and we are headed to Los Angeles today. You can tell Mr. Leo here is still passed out. He does not like mornings whatsoever. He typically does not get up until about 9, 10 a.m. I've got my coffee. I'm trying to wake up myself, but I feel pretty good today. This Whole30 program, though, has been cleansing me out. I actually got woken up a little early to take care of some business, but man, I feel a lot better now. We are officially on the road to Los Angeles. It was cold this morning in Flagstaff in the low 40s. My fingers are frozen. Woke up feeling really good today though. Uh, we've already each had two hard boiled eggs and a banana to get our day started. We've got another six hour drive to Los Angeles according to the GPS. Uh, but we are going to make a few stops, get some more fuel. Hopefully it's the last tank of gas we have to get for the month of September. You got your snacks? I do. So I've got some walnuts. I've got my cold brew. Your cold brew coffee because someone thought you were drinking alcohol. Yeah. This is coffee. It's not beer. Um, and we just put 64.615 gallons in the RV. Got a full tank. Let's do this. Let's see. That was the agricultural checkpoint. There are certain things you can't bring into California. Uh, but the gentleman asked me to declare all our produce. I told him what we had on board. And he also ha asked if we have any pets or plants. And I told him about Leo and we don't have any plants. He cleared us to go. So we are all set to travel in California. Now, if you are in any vehicle and towing a trailer, the maximum speed you can go is 55 miles an hour. In California Highway Patrol, they do not mess around. So I am going to set my cruise control to 55 and we'll take our time in California. We filled up in Kingman, Arizona. It was 209 for 87. And it is 379 in Needles, California. That is ridiculous. Hey, bud. Tell us about this haze we've descended into. Well, that's the thing. When you grow up in California, or at least Los Angeles, you call what I'm looking at right now haze. But in actuality, it's smog or pollution. Uh, because there's no way we can have fog like this on a 90 plus degree day with 0% humidity. Take a look. Oh, it's so gross. And we can actually smell it. One of the reasons why we left Los Angeles. Leo, are you excited to be back in Los Angeles? I think Leo's ready for a nap. I think the last time we were on this road, <clears throat> you were towing a trailer with your race motorcycle, headed yep. back home. And now Little you're days. in your house towing, towing the Jeep. <laughs> That's pretty funny. By the way, of all the Jeeps that passed us today, we had the most mud on ours. I'm proud of that fact. It feels strange to be back in California after a year. We just spent the last two hours responding to comments on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There have been some really great comments. We have been cracking up this whole drive. So thank you guys. I'm gonna let Joe read some of them uh, later today. You guys are awesome. We finally arrived at my mom's house. Kate's got to go out and detach the Jeep. We're going to swing around and we're probably going to be street camping here for the rest of the month. We'll see how that goes. So wish us luck. This is my infamous mother, Christine. Infamous is better than famous because <laughs> it can be taken so many ways. <laughs> we are parked out in front of her house. We're parked in the street. We will be doing some street camping. We'll have a place, a nice bathroom and everything. We can take a break from the RV. Today again is the one year anniversary of us quitting our jobs and on the 13th it'll be our one year anniversary from actually leaving from this exact spot to hit the road. So it's kind of come full circle. He knows how to make me cry. <laughs> as sad as I was to see them go, it's so wonderful to see them living their adventure and their dreams. Thank you. I love you too. And I have to say they've never looked better. They have no stress, they have no health problems. This is the way to live. 
and say hello to all our, our YouTube family out there. Oh, hi YouTube family. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for taking such good care of Kate and Joe when they're traveling. It's prime rib time and coffee. For sure. Okay, this is the one who got me hooked on coffee. Actually, it was his father. Well, you used to give me donuts at the farmer's market with my little coffee when I was a kid. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Don Dumbris. A while back, I said as a team, you would make good life coaches and you encouraged people to go for full timing. Now it's my turn. Do your 30 days because you started this challenge. When it's over, go back to enjoying life, bad food, and all because it's too short not to, LOL. Don, thank you very much. We're doing this so we can actually go out and enjoy more good food. We've been way overdoing it and we both needed to take a break. That's why we're doing this challenge, plus we thought it would be fun. Jeffrey, times like these, you will wish you had an RV with a bath and a half. And yes, you did pronounce it correctly. Thank you. You're welcome. In 28 days, I want to see a full eight bottles of beer. No cheating. Good luck. Jeffrey, your comment couldn't have been more true than what happened this morning. Kate actually had to go run outside and use a bush. It's a good thing we're on BLM land. This is Torian Travels. I got to say, only two days and your face seems to be slimming down somewhat already. Good luck on the next 28 days. Tarian, thank you very much. I hope that is true. We'll see. Oh, I like this one. Carrie Campbell. Is there a prize for the person who makes it through the challenge without cheating? Kate actually said that the loser or the person who cheats should go another 30 days, but I vetoed that one. The Breeze. Okay, I'll go with you, but not for a couple weeks. I am starting a three week motorcycle trip on Route 66 from Santa Fe to LA. We actually saw quite a bit of Route 66 and I would love to take a motorcycle through that whole route. If I still had one, I'd join you. Hang in there guys, it's only 28 more days. Chuck, thank you very much. From Denise Cragen, Kate, that list of foods you want to eat after the challenge, please be sure not to eat them all on the same day or you might be doing a video on emergency medical care on the road. Denise, I couldn't agree with you more. Kate sometimes just completely loses control, especially when it comes to all her favorite, like Asian foods. And the most exciting comment for us is, we finally got our first person to join us for this 30 day challenge. It's CVX 2 dog We're all in with you. Since your post yesterday, we've been reading about Whole30. What do we have to lose except for a few pounds? Exactly. And maybe some inflammation, even better. Good luck to all of us. Good luck to you. We will be here supporting you. We'd love to see more comments from you as to how it's going, challenges you're having and everything else. Anyone else who wants to join, let us know, leave a comment below. And thank you so much for all these comments. Okay, right now we're doing some zucchinis that have been sitting in the olive oil and pressed garlic. Yeah. We're getting beef juice for our prime rib, and pretty soon we'll be dressing the salad, and that's going to be dinner. The salad dressing is apple cider vinegar and olive oil because Kate and Joe are in a 30 day challenge of no processed food and no additives. So we're strictly vegetables and meat uh, tonight for dinner. I was going to steal one. Joe's going to take really a piece. Yet. Joe's going to take a piece, pick that one, it's the skinniest. We don't, we don't like our zucchini to get soft. <laughs> we like crunchy zucchini. <laughs> oh, hot. And look at that prime rib. It feels really good to be back home. Um, our home is actually parked outside, but be in my mother's home. Um, and I'm absolutely shocked that she agreed to be in front of the camera. She has vehemently said that she refuses to be on any social media. So the fact that she actually got on this one, I am blown away. Dinner was fantastic. Oh, here she comes. I heard my name. Here, my love. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. <laughs> I think that's in the Bible, isn't it? I was just saying how much I love dinner. Oh, great. And then I'm absolutely shocked that you agreed to be on this. Day three of the challenge has actually been very easy for me because we were driving most of the... Hold but on. understand one thing about the challenge, something you wouldn't think. 
I had heard the salt for them to use, which is the pure salt. The Morton's iodized salt is not pure, it's processed, and it has chemicals in it. Okay. That won't work on the 30 day. So get your kosher salt and get the fleur de sel. You heard it from the master herself. Uh, but day three was really easy because we were driving all day. I have day. to run now. I have Roku up setting up. Okay, go. <laughs> nice talking to you all. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I hope you guys got a kick out of that. Anyway, day three, really easy because we were driving all day. We had snacks. Kate had made pork chops the night before. When we got here, I had a few cups of coffee, a fantastic dinner, and now I'm having more coffee because it's almost 9.30 at night. I've got to get this video edited and up for you guys tomorrow and look forward to day four. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're loving the comments, so keep those coming, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. I will share a little secret with you. Not only is Leo a husky, he's also an egg warmer. We popped this egg in there earlier to warm it up to room temperature, and 